What's going on? Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Apex Vision TV. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about sim racing. I'll show you my setup real quick. And then um, if you notice, you follow the channel and uh, the IG. I've been posting my, uh, I've been testing all the GT3 cars on Assetto Corsa because I'm planning on doing a custom livery. I'm planning on joining the league. And um, I finally drove all the GT3 cars, only GT3. So I didn't test the Super Trofeo. Huracan, I didn't test the M3 GT2, the 458 GT2, and I didn't test the uh, SCG P45 competition. Um, this is going to be my top five right here, and uh, I'm going to list why right now. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I figure I'll show you about my setup again. Um, again, running T3PA Pro pedals with the brake mod. I have them um, traditional style right now. I was running inverter for a while. And I have a T300 base with a Ferrari 599 Alcantara wheel. Um, I love it, but uh, you know, Fnatic has the big dog stuff, but Fnatic costs. So Thrustmaster, they're in that just just below, just below crazy expensive. And um, I think that they have their lane, and it's a really good lane for them. Of course, I'd like to see them do more high end stuff. I love this 599 wheel, but. This T300 ain't no joke, man. Ever since I got it, I've been playing the game more. Only thing I wish I had done instead of buying the 599 wheel, I wish I had just gone with the Ferrari F1 wheel. Um, even though not all the buttons are functional, it uh, it has way more buttons than this for adjustability. I don't like having to use a D-pad to uh, adjust my brake bias and stuff like that. But um, let's get to this top this top five GC3 cars. Okay, so the way I decided to do this is, um, as many of you know, the Nürburgring track is easily the toughest track in the world. Um, 13 miles, um, all types of twists and turns, elevation changes, everything. So what I've done was I've done three lap, three lap races, not just practice. I wanted to do a three lap race so I could draft and see which, see which cars suit me best. And again, I feel like the Nürburgring, that's the place to do it because, again, it's such a large track that you'll you'll figure out by the time you get to that third lap you'll figure out an opinion on the car and yeah so here go my top five all right so we're going to start out with the mclaren not the 650s but the uh the 12c didn't take me too long going around the track to realize the front end on this car is incredible I did not get a lot of understeer unless I flat out just missed the corner, went in way too high, locked up. The front end on this car is incredible. It does what you want it to do as long as you don't overdo it going in the corners. The front end, the downforce it makes is uh, pretty good. And the oversteer, I only really dealt with oversteer when um, it was like a, a, a short corner where I had to switch back. And uh, that was when I had to deal with the oversteer. Um, negative for this one though is the top speed. I definitely got caught from behind. If you've seen the video um, with just this one, I was running next. I was running with the GTR and the Super Trofeo Huracan, and GTR is one of the fastest GT3 cars, but I could not keep up with it at all. I had to draft to keep catch up to it. Then I caught up and I got next to it, and it ran away again. So. That that really, that's why it's a five on my list. It would be great on on smaller circuits that don't have long stretches. Um, four, we're gonna go with the Mercedes AMG GT3. Uh, not too many front engine cars I'm good with for whatever reason. I like that uh, that that weight to be in the middle or in the back. But this one, it had it didn't have a lot of understeer even though it's front engine. Um, and it was just confidence inspiring, man. I, I was able to knock out laps and it has good top speed. It's good out of the slow speed corners as well. Um, yeah. And, and again, any of these cars, I'm sure there's somebody that's laughing, saying, understeer, blah, blah, blah. This is stock for me, my driving style. No setup changes. At three, um, you know, this can't be a surprise to anybody, really. Um, 911 GT3R. Um, this one I actually led for two laps with it. Um, absolute beast, flat six, 
engine in the back. Um, felt really good under braking. Um, not really no understeer. Didn't really have to uh, do an oversteer either with the weight being in the back. GT3, any GT3, any Porsche, you know, is going to be confident, inspiring. With this one, I started probably fourth or fifth, jumped to first, and like I said, I held it until until I, I messed up, but that was my fault. Um, second place, and I thought this was going to mess around and win, but the Audi um, 2016 R8 LMS, that, uh, that, being in a being a v10 um is more progressive the power and um i got a heavy right foot so that's why um i don't know this one this one i was able to go go into it smoothly and uh yeah i was just fasting it this is the only car that i actually won the race with i got into a rhythm uh didn't start in first probably started in sixth but i got into a rhythm on the second lap um and didn't give up the position. And then uh, first place for me, again, this is my list, is the, the SCG003. Being a smaller smaller engine, mean I had less torque out of the gate, but it is twin turbo. And I thought the downforce would be, uh, would be killing me, but it actually has great downforce and great top speed. So this will be what I really get my hang with. I'm definitely gonna still create liveries for the other three, for the uh, other cars on the list. But yeah, I felt at home in this. I feel like this suits me the best. And again, um, I can't wait to learn more about setups. Can't wait to switch to PC. But for now, if Apex is uh, doing a league race, it's probably gonna be this or the Audi.
doesn't count. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching if you made it to the end.